The Wild Robot is the newest film from DreamWorks, stars the likes of Lupita Nyong'o, Pedro Pascal, Kit Connor, Bill Nye, just to name a few. I mean, this this cast actually, upon further review, is pretty stacked. I, I, I knew Lupita Nyong'o played our lead character of Roz, but did not realize the rest of this cast was so incredibly stacked. How's it going, everybody? Welcome back into another video. You're watching another episode of We Need to Talk About. My name is Jack, and thank you all so much for taking the time to watch the video. As I just kind of said and started to go on a tangent about, uh, we are talking about the new film from DreamWorks, The Wild Robot. This is a film that I was highly, highly anticipating. The trailers looked awesome. The reviews were highly, highly complimentary. So I was looking forward to it. Finally got to see it, and I enjoyed it quite a bit. We're going to get into my review in just a second, but first, if you are new here, and I know a lot of you watch my Transformers 1 review. Thank you all so much for doing that. But if you're new here, make sure you subscribe. Do movie reviews like this every single week with Oscar season and fall movie season coming out. There's going to be a lot of awesome movies to uh, to break down a review. So I'm really looking forward to that. Make sure you subscribe. Don't miss out on any, any, uh, any reviews that come out in the next few months. But let's get into it. We're talking about the wild robot. After a shipwreck, an intelligent robot called Roz is stranded on an uninhabited uninhabited island to survive the harsh environment Roz bonds with the island's animals and cares for an orphaned baby goose now like i already said the reviews for this i'm just gonna move my mic please excuse me headphone listeners um like i already said to start the start out um the trailers were gorgeous and this movie looked absolutely incredible just just visually and um that is definitely the case here. But the reviews for this just really didn't surprise me. A film like this seems like a film that might work like it was being reviewed as. Uh, but this was like, this is your best animated feature right here. Like, that's what these reviews were saying. And I was like, okay, we'll see, we'll see. I mean, I get it. I get it. This movie's fantastic. I'm going to break it down. I gave it an 89 out of 100 on my rating scale. Uh, and I'm going to break down everything, why certain things got the grades that they got. We're going to start at the very top with the performances. I gave performances 14 out of 15 on my scale. Like I kind of went on that little tangent at the beginning. Lupita Nyong'o, Pedro Pascal, Kit Connor, Bill Nye, Stephanie Zhu, Mark Hamill, Catherine O'Hara, O'Hara, Ving Rhames, Matt Berry. Uh, those are just those are just the people that are listed on uh, on Letterbox. The entire voice cast is phenomenal. I mean, Lupita Nyong'o is Lupita Nyong'o. We know what we're gonna get. She's she's absolutely fabulous, and she brings you know such life to a robot. If that makes sense, like like Roz as a character, you know, is a robot. But you feel humanity in the robot, if that makes sense. And then, like, that's kind of the point of this movie is this robot kind of learning how to feel and, like, love and, and all of this stuff. Like, that's one of the big points of this movie. Uh, and, and Lupita Nyong'o does a, a, a brilliant job at capturing that. She was absolutely fantastic. I mean, again, you know what you're getting. She's 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 box office. She's she's world class. Uh, Pedro Pascal. I did not realize it was Pedro Pascal playing, uh, playing uh, Fink. Did I get that right? Yeah, I think. Uh, did not realize that was Pedro Pascal. He was absolutely fantastic. Kit Connor's great as well. Uh, the rest of the, the the names I read off are, are all supporting characters. The main three, Nyong'o, Pascal, Connor, all incredible. All bring really great emotion. I, I really, really liked what they brought to the screen. Um, next thing's next. Entertainment, 8 out of 10. I was laughing, having a good time. You know, it's not a... This is, it's an animated movie. It's not a kid's movie, if that makes sense. Kids will enjoy it, but adults will get a lot out of it, too. I was laughing. There's a lot of dark humor in here, which I thought was funny. It looks great. The action set pieces were engaging. Like, this is an engaging movie that keeps you intrigued, keeps you um, engaged. And I I thought that, that enter it was very entertaining. I really enjoyed it. Emotion, 9 out of 10. I'll talk about it when we get to the writing. I always save writing for last because that's usually kind of the key component for me. Uh, but the emotion, I gave a 9 out of 10. Movies like this, they pull up my heartstrings. They always do it. And sure enough, once again, we had a film that pulled at my heartstrings. I did not cry. I held it in. I got close, though, a few times. But 
it does pull at the heartstrings. It does make you emotional. I, there were people in my theater that I could hear behind me kind of sniffling and crying. Like it, 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 it does a great job at making the emotion also feel earned. It didn't feel manipulative. Uh, I think at times movies like this can, can get cheap emotion based off of manipulation. Um, that wasn't here. This, this emotion was earned. It was, it was, it was well executed, well written, and it was great. Uh, cinematography slash animation, I guess we'll clump these together. A five out of five. This movie's absolutely gorgeous. I actually watched it in 3D. I, and I'm a big proponent of I don't like 3D unless it's Avatar. I've talked about that on this channel before. I'm just not a fan of 3D. It was the earliest screening I could get into. I got out of work at 615 the original screen I was supposed to go to was at 725. This one started at 620. I'm like, I can get to the theater in five minutes. So I watched it in 3D. And it was good. It looks beautiful. I mean, the, the movie itself is absolutely gorgeous. The animation is incredible. Um, and I I think that, that everyone involved... I'll also tie technical into this. I give the technical 15 out of 15. Um, everyone involved behind the scenes, from the visual effects to the animation to everything the score i gave a five out of five is absolutely brilliant um it's all pieced together so well i i really did not have any notes it looks gorgeous it sounds awesome the sound design is great the you know like i already talked about the animation is stunning it's it's a very well made movie at the core it's just well made to the bones and that that's just if a movie is well made, you're going to get some points from me, no matter how good or bad the script or the performances are. If it's a well made movie, there are levels of respect that I give, and this movie is just a well made movie. And it again, it just looks gorgeous. It looks gorgeous. I already talked about the score. The score is 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 phenomenal. One of my favorites of the year. Um, it's one of those, you know. DreamWorks scores. I mean, like, the DreamWorks, like, logo came up. You know, they do, like, that kind of opening, like, oh, this is a DreamWorks movie, and they show, like, characters from the other movie. So that score, it's, like, 15 seconds, like, made me want to levitate out of my out of my chair. So it's, like, DreamWorks, they, they kind of got the sauce, and this score was absolutely fantastic. All right, let's get down to the nitty-gritty here. I gave writing 13 out of 15. 13 out of 15 I gave the writing. Um... This is a very well thought out, well put together, well executed film about parenthood, in this case, motherhood, which I, that's not, I'm not the target demographic for that, but this film is so much more than that. This is not just a film about motherhood or the connection between a mother and a child. It is about existence identity how we identify ourselves how we see ourselves among our peers uh it is a story of discovery and how even if we might be different we are still capable of things that we might not believe we are capable of uh and it also is a story of how we all can exist together coexistence we all can exist together in the world and we don't always have to be fighting and scrapping with each other. I think that with what's going on in the world right now, you know what's going to happen in about a month or so. I'm not going to say it, but you, if you, you all know what I'm talking about. What's going to happen in about a month and some weeks. We all could use a little bit of that right now because at the end of the day, we are all humans and we, we can coexist. It is possible to coexist even if we don't always agree. And I think that that is one of the biggest themes of this film in particular. We start off in a natural forest and habitat where you've got a, a food chain and prey and predators and, and, and all of that. And, and we slowly watch this community of animals form and, and coexist. And the animals are us. I mean, we are animals as well, but like they, they are us. And, and, and this story of coexistence is, is very powerful and, and I really liked it. There were some really great moments uh, where everyone came together. And I really I really liked what they did there. But that's just one part of it. I, like, I think that where most people will, where, where most people I think will relate to this, and I definitely related to this as well, is 
it's the it's the identity aspect of it it's be proud of who you are just because you might be different just because you might think a different way or you might you know just because you might be different you are capable of more things than you think you pro than you originally thought that's like for me in particular i love that theme in any movie like and if you can execute it well like it did here you're you're going to instantly be a winner for me like stories about perseverance stories about the underdog stories about like that's why i love sports movies is watching the underdog succeed watching them overcome any hardship that they had and if you can do it and it's not cheap and it's not manipulative and it actually pays off and it feels earned if you can do that you're gonna score big with me and this film did that this film is earned you go through this like you go through the trials and tribulations i do think it's a bit rushed i do have a bit of a pacing issue with it um i think we rushed through some scenes and there were some aspects of the movie that i think we could have maybe pulled back just a little bit um but on a grand scale i think it was incredibly effective and and it it was executed extremely extremely well this movie is a top 10 movie of the year for me so far coming in i think at number nine or ten um like I said, rated an 89 out of 100. Kids will love this. Adults will love this. Adults will get way more emotional than the kids, I think. Um, like, I know if my mom watched this, she would absolutely ball her eyes out. Um, this is a film for everyone. You know, this is an animated film that works for absolutely everyone. And the people that are talking about how it could get best animated Oscar hype and all of this, I believe the hype. I'm not going to crown a film already now i did that with oppenheimer last year but i was right i'm just gonna say that but i'm not gonna crown a film uh this early in the cycle um but it's definitely up there i think it's definitely one of the front runners if we're talking oscars um and it's one that i think a lot of people will really really enjoy that's all i really have to say i, I like i said it's pretty pretty s- straightforward pretty self-explanatory it's gorgeous animation it's top tier dreamworks it really is it's it's some of the best dreamworks animation slash storytelling that i've seen in quite some time you know kung fu panda 4 came out this year and I didn't really, you know, it was what it was um but this this was really effective storytelling voice acting direction uh you know animation score all of it like this isn't a very well conceived well put together animated film from dreamworks it is a win it is it is it is a home run from dreamworks and you should go watch it take your kid go watch on your own i watched on my own on a thursday night after work i went and watched and i really enjoyed it go watch this it's a great time and when you watch it let me know in the comments what you thought of the wild robot did you like it did you hate it let me know why i want to talk to y'all down below in the comments thank you all again so much if you came for my transformers one review a lot of people watch that review i really appreciate the love and support if this is your first time watching one of my videos make sure you subscribe like comment subscribe do the, all the things that you do on youtube it definitely supports the channel this is not a full-time job for me i have a full-time job actually working here at chat sports um this is just a hobby so you know if you love what you see if you like what you see like comment subscribe it all helps out the channel i really do appreciate but that's pretty much it guys follow me on social media do all that stuff it'll all be linked down below in the description love y'all thank you all hope y'all have a great day and we'll see you in the next video